Looking for a COVID-19 stylish mask? We've got you covered. That's thejeweledexperience.com. It's jewelry you'll love. Hi guys, welcome back. I know we have someone new here on the channel. You guys, I wanted to finally introduce you guys to my new puppy named Jax. He is a standard poodle, you guys. I get so many questions every single day. Like, is he a doodle? Is he a mix? Like, oh my gosh, you guys. No, he's a standard poodle. And he's only six months, you guys. Jack, say hello to the camera. Say hello. Say hi. And if you guys are wondering about his little socks and why he has them on, so Jax has been very playful. He is still a puppy. And yeah, he's been scratching the mess up out of my face. And yeah, no, it took like literally no time for me to learn that we had to get him some socks because that was just not about to fly on my face. So yeah, um, he's a really big cuddler, if you guys can't tell. He's like cuddling right now. And he's growing so fast, so quick, you guys. I paid $1,200 for him. He's AKC verified, which is the American Kennel Club, which basically means he is a full bred, 100% standard poodle. Um, I think his color is Cafe Oulot. I believe so, but I think he is a red standard poodle. Um, over the weeks, you guys, his color has gotten lighter the older he's gotten, but his ears were like all burned. They were so cute. And yeah, he's just been a really good puppy. Um, I haven't really had any issues with him since I've had him, which I got him at four months. So I've had him for about two months, almost three. Um, he's only pooped and had a mistake inside the house three times, which is really, really good for me. Um, I found out what type of food he likes, what type of food he doesn't like. He loves lamb, rabbit, and he also likes duck. He does not like fish. He does not like salmon. He doesn't like sardines. He doesn't like quail. He doesn't like beef. He doesn't really care for chicken. Um, he doesn't really care for turkey. So yeah, I have a bushy dog on my hands, you guys. <laughs> he only really fools with lamb and rabbit, to say the least. Hey, Papa. This video is about you, Jax. Yeah, the people, they want to see you, boy. They don't want to see me. They want to see you. Yeah. You guys, he's so adorable. Um, he's getting bigger. Um, he's on a raw diet for you guys that are wondering, which I wanted to show you guys his baby teeth. Um, I have to like insert a little clip right here, but while we were moving, if you guys didn't know, we did move um, early November and we're moving again right now. But once we moved early November, um, I went ahead and transitioned him from a raw diet to a raw and kibble diet, which was horrible, you guys. He lost like 8 to 12 baby teeth. So you guys, this is my standard poodle puppy, Jax. He just turned five months on the 9th, and I've had him for three weeks now, and he has been an amazing pup. He's such a good boy. He listens very well, but for the most part, um, he's very well behaved. And he's getting big on me, you guys. He's getting big. He typically likes to eat his food laying down, so I'm just waiting. But there it goes. There he goes. He just cannot stand eating his food standing up. And we did have different feeders. We had some that were taller, we had some that were glass, and these are just what he's eating out of at the moment. They're plastic bowls. I think I'm gonna get him something a little bit taller though. I don't want him to get in this habit of eating laying down because that's very, very lazy. But look at him, he's so cute. That's a good boy, Jax. Eating all your food. Jax, is it good? Yeah, it's just so tiring for him to eat standing up. He has to lay down. So, he's such a sweet boy. Ain't that right, Jax? Jax, is it good? Also, this is day number four he's been on kibble. He's more excited to eat it now 
versus the first time he had it, but he will not be eating this anymore. And I have to sit here and babysit him because if I don't, he won't feel comfortable enough to eat. So once I first got him, we made it an everyday thing, three times a day. It took him 10 minutes to prepare his food because he was eating raw. And then it took him 10 minutes to eat. And then after 30 minutes, we went on a 10 minute walk. So it took us about an hour total for three times a day. He's just the cutest. He's also gotten bigger, so he's definitely getting his nutrients. And if you guys are wondering about his blinged out collar, they're not trying to see you, they're trying to see your collar, man. He got that from the Jeweled Experience. And once we switch back from a kibble diet to a strictly a raw diet, he has not lost any teeth, which I just find so freaking crazy. I feel so bad because every time we would go to eat his food when it was kibble, he was losing a tooth, which was insane. So yeah, I just wanted to put that out there. We are on a raw diet. I'll insert what Jax eats every day. Dinner tonight, Jax is having some lamb. He's also having cranberries, spinach, a little bit of pumpkin puree, some cottage cheese, some Greek yogurt, cut up apples, and an egg. And he's home. For dinner tonight, Jax is having a little bit of lamb, some salmon, an egg, a little bit of pumpkin puree, some apple pieces, gala that is, a little bit of spinach. He also has some Monterey Jack cheese, which he's been obsessed with here lately. Looking for a COVID-19 stylish mask? We've got you covered. That's thejeweledexperience.com. It's jewelry you'll love. And um, yeah, for the most part, he's been growing pretty good, pretty big. He's getting very big for his age. People are always so curious to know his breed because he's so big. But yeah, he's a really good puppy. And also, a lot of people think that poodles are just like these flu flu dogs. Jax is so aggressive. <laughs> he is so aggressive. He has to be trained like that. No, but he has a very, very sharp and aggressive bite on him. And I did not teach him that. That's just how he is. So I do want to go ahead and start like getting him in some training to be like a guard attack dog because it's in his blood. Like it is there for him for sure. Um, I'm trying to think what else I could tell you guys about Jax. Oh, the only problem I had with him is running off his leash. So that's another thing with standard poodles. You have to like be very active. So Jax here, he needs an hour and a half a day of playtime. <laughs> Jax. Jacks. or at least walking some type of activity so I like to give him at least like three 20 minute walks um, typically we'll go to the park two times two or three times out of the week and when I say park like that's the dog park other dogs are there typically like four to seven dogs so it's pretty good for Jax because he does have some like social anxiety problems. I noticed like he's a little afraid to be himself around other dogs, which is so crazy. I sound like a, a mom, <laughs> but I have noticed it. And I think it's because he's so aggressive for his age and I know he can like feel it. You know what I mean? Like I, I can sense that he knows he's a puppy, but he's so powerful and he doesn't know quite how to use his powers just yet which is why he has these puppy socks because my face was getting scratched up you guys he is a really good pup so very playful very energetic full of life and he has such cute hair so yeah you guys I'm gonna go ahead and insert some footage of me just with Jax and what I have so you guys can see him 
and um, I did want to go ahead and touch on a few other things like how we traveled once we moved we did catch a flight and if you guys are wondering you can fly with your dogs but they have to be a certain size and as you guys can see a Jax is already over that size so yeah I'll insert the little footage that I have of us flying traveling okay you guys so we just made it to the airport and look at Jax this is so cute He's being a really good boy. As you guys can see, his leash is on the floor. And I just got my pet fee paid. It was $95 for him one way. And then I'm buying the carrier now. So that's what the carrier looks like. And I'm just gonna go ahead and get that for him. <laughs> well, thank you. Say thank you, boy. Hey guys, so Jax and I are at the airport. We're getting ready to catch our flight and it is Halloween, so happy Halloween. I hope you guys had a safe trick-or-treating. You guys practice safe social distancing and all that good stuff, but I wanted to make sure we got a flight early enough so that we didn't have to be out during like the chaos and stuff because that's just what I'm not trying to be involved in. So um, just ran into like a little bit of a hiccup so we were running late per usual you know color people time okay and my flight leaves at 2 and I wanted to be at the airport by 12 because I have some okay how do I say it I have to do an additional screening so I was just like well you know what since we're already running late on time I'll just grab the pet carrier at Southwest because I had read up online and I had watched some YouTube videos sorry I was just checking Jack to make sure he's so cool but um, I have watched some YouTube videos and I have read up on their website and I even called and they said that you can buy a pet carrier at Southwest and so Jax is a puppy but he's a standard poodle and so he is a very big puppy you guys he is so big so um, it didn't fit <laughs> He did not fit in that little freaking carrier and I'll insert the little clip where I showed you guys So my mom is actually trying to get me a carrier now. Hello Okay, all right, so it looks like they have this one called the Okay, how much is it? 84 dollars Okay, let's get it. Oh wait, wait, how, how long is it? Wait, that one. Get that one. Okay. I don't think he'll fit. Okay, get that one. Yeah, I, I'm, I know the measurements. Get that one. How much is the blue one? This one here is 62. Yeah, get that one. Okay. And then, could you get the duck head or the duck bone and see how long the line is? That, that's going to be a problem. The line is extremely long, but I got it. All right. This one makes you 42. Jesse, you sure this is going to be the right size? So you guys see how big Jax is inside of this carrier. This is the airplane approved one, but obviously it didn't work for us. You guys see, he's only a puppy, four months. This did not work for us. And he actually kept on pushing this back. He was faced the other way. He kept pushing it back on our flight, so he did not like it. It was so uncomfortable for him, as you guys can see. It's uncomfortable for him now. This is supposed to be the like lay down space. Yeah, no, ain't no laying down. And me, you know, with Jax while he's eating because as a puppy, I, I personally think you should spend, you know, a few minutes bonding with your dog while they're eating. That's the best way for you guys to get bonded. So yeah, I did record some of that footage. So you guys, I'm at the dog store about to get Jax some dog food. I wanted to show you guys because he's on a raw diet you actually have to go to like local pet stores to find the dog food and as you guys can see they have the prices alongside the refrigerator so you can see how much it's going to be and my dog he eats instinct 
and he also eats um so he eats this brand and then Jax also eats logic primal he eats primal yeah so he eats these two and yeah i just wanted to introduce you guys to my puppy um yeah he's not really a bad dog so you won't really hear him barking in my videos here to come but yeah say hello i also wanted to share with you guys his dog tag look at it look at how stinking cute can you guys see that it says jacks <laughs> And if you guys did not know, you can pick these up from the jeweledexperience.com. Yes. Looking for a COVID-19 stylish mask? We've got you covered. That's the jeweledexperience.com. It's jewelry you'll love. And then I also got him this personalized leash. I'm going to put you down, Papa. Okay. He's so big. <laughs> I thought I'm going to put you down and he went nowhere. So, and then I got him this leash with um, his name on it. It says Jax Thompson. And then I wanted to share with you guys the brush I used to brush him. So if you guys didn't know, I do wash him. I'll insert some footage. This is the brush I used to blow dry him with. I also do use this on my hair. This is from Careco. Um, I will have the information down in the description box if you guys want to shop them. I totally recommend them. Really good pricing and their products really last, the quality of them. So yeah, I use it on both of us and I find it's pretty normal. So, and then Jax, he loves treats. So yeah, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Looking for a COVID-19 stylish mask? We've got you covered. That's thejeweledexperience.com. It's jewelry you'll love.